Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and we're continuing on with Hardcore Minecraft. Just to clarify, I didn't do it last episode, I did in the first one. I'm playing with the RTX shaders and in Windows version you cannot play Hardcore. So I'm playing on hard difficulty and when I die the world gets deleted. So it's basically the same thing, only who knows, I might be lying to you. <laughs> the one thing I was thinking about, it does give us the satisfaction of blowing the shit out of everything once this whole thing ends and I, I do in fact die. But yeah, let's jump right in. I want to finish off my tower. I need a big defensive tower that I can overlook my kingdom. I also want to feck up this little pond because drowned keep going in there and they're scaring me. <laughs> Is anyone there? No? We good? Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> and I'm taking the lava away, by the way. I'm not just gonna leave it there <laughs> to be something even more dangerous. This is working out really well. <laughs> Usually my plans don't work out at all. I'm not used to them working out well. There we go. That's that problem solved. That was fast. I should probably dig up this whole area, to be honest. It looks feckin' awful. Plus, I want those long lines of sight so I can see creepers coming. <laughs> if I'll have it my way, we're gonna be a Minecraft hardcore channel. <laughs> Nothing else will be posted. I will never die. We're gonna get rid of these doors and get some proper iron doors up here. Oh, that was close. I almost locked myself out. I don't have any switch to get in. I'm just realizing I promised you I'd clean my inventory for next time and I've not done it. So that's just another thing I've disappointed you on. I apologize. There we go. Now nothing can break down my doors. Fantastic. And I think we should build a back door too. I'd like easy access to the water. Speaking of which, it's probably a good idea for me to have a bucket of water on me all the time because I feel like one of the highest possibilities of dying very well could be lava. Okay, fantastic. I got better ways in and out. Uh, now, I don't know if I'll tear down this wall. I've been debating it and I think I will. So we have a nice big area here. I can look at my prisoners a bit easier too. <laughs> no, you don't get fed. <laughs> you can't make babies yet. Therefore, you cannot eat. There we go. Now the place looks feckin' huge all of a sudden. That's good. That's great. I feel like uh, I'm a bit less claustrophobic now. All right, time to add on to my house. I think after... After I build my house up, I want to go down into the mine and I want to try to find a, a saddle in one of the boxes because there's a mine shaft down there that I'm hoping I'll find a box with a saddle in. Because there's plenty of horses and I want to do a bit of exploring around, get some things like I want some pumpkins to make some iron golems, which I think would be a great idea. Just anything to keep me alive, you know? <laughs> Ow. That sounded like it really hurt. There's multiple bones broken there, I think, but in this world there are no doctors, so suck it up. Is it birchwood or ow? Feckin' hell, there go the rest of my bones. Is it birchwood I was using or oak? Oh, it was oak. Oh, gosh. Oh, wait, I've loads. Okay, great. I'm not really sure where I'm going with this design. I just hope it turns out okay. God damn, I should really be wearing a hard hat. Like, just in general, in real life. Oh my god, I almost walked off the feckin' building. Imagine that's how I die in my hardcore world, a construction accident. <laughs> I have to put up one of those signs, it's been zero days since our last accident. Yeah, why am I building a tower when like literally the only thing that could come out of this is me falling off and dying? <laughs> I'm gonna have to have loads of safety rails and shit. I didn't even build a way to get back down. Oh god, I'm stupid. Ow. Alright, that's one way down I guess. <laughs> Ow. I think a ladder would be the best way up since I don't really have all that much space here. I kind of like this, this this kind of idea. I was going to build another floor, but I kind of like the idea of having it open on the top. Looks kind of cool. I'm just wondering, is there any cool thing we could do to brighten the place up? Like if we put like a lava roof or something, that might be cool because with the lighting shaders, like the lava looks pretty awesome. It already looks so bright. I want to see what it looks like from the outside. I bet it'll look just feckin' awful <laughs> after all my hard work. Oh yeah. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, how are we gonna fix this? No. Oh, the cow's upset about it too. Yeah, I know. It's ugly. I'm working on it. Okay, give me a break. Okay, that makes it look more uniform. Now I think I just need to solve this issue. I'm kind of committing to this. <laughs> it's like I really don't want to tear it down now. It's all about practicality, not interior and exterior design. Okay, we're playing hardcore, not Feckin' house flipper, all right? No, I'm getting angry. <laughs> no one's giving out to me. What the hell? How are there more of you? I thought I got rid of all of your hidey holes. The hell is that? The hell are you? 
Oh, oh, Jesus Christ almighty. Feckin' hell, I thought it was like a fish or something. Look at him like that doesn't look like a skeleton to me. <laughs> right, I'm out of here. I hope you can't use buttons. More. More of you. Come on, more. Make more prisoners. More. All right, I'm gonna need more sand to make windows and I hope it'll improve it somehow. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Oh yeah, bumblebees, I forgot. Uh, don't kill me, please. Move like a bee. Sting like a, a bee. On bunnies. Please don't kill me either. <laughs> if I got killed by a bunny in hardcore, I don't think I could ever play hardcore again. It's just weird playing a world like this, knowing it's gonna end, but you're just wondering how. But I don't know if I want to know how it would end. It's like kind of knowing how you die in real life. I don't want to know. <laughs> All right, I made it into more of a stereotypical castle top now, and I'm hoping that'll improve it from below. <laughs> you know what? It's not great, <laughs> but it's not horrible either, I think. I think if it was one less layer of rock here, it would look better. But you know what? We're gonna leave it like that for now, and I'll tweak it later. I want to go on an adventure. I think I want to collect as many rails as possible as well. I want to make a little railway track from the village nearby so I can ship some prisoners. <laughs> Always good to have company when you're in lockdown, am I right? All right, sorry. Someone has to die. I need meat for my adventure. All right, let that be a warning to you. <laughs> I like how they go cower in the corner. That's kind of traumatic, actually. Yeah, you know what? That castle actually looks kind of okay. It definitely needs tweaking, but I think it's in the right direction now, at least. I'm not as scared of the noises now. I don't know whether it's just because uh, I haven't been playing recently. You know, I, I don't have the fear struck into me yet because nothing traumatic has happened in a while. Or if it's just because I've got better equipment now. I really don't know. The shit, Jesus Christ. Okay, I think something traumatic is about to happen to me. That sounded like it was right on top of me. What the hell is this? Oh God, a party I don't want to be invited to. All right. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, party's over, folks. What the hell were you doing down here? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, I think they were just trapped by the current. They couldn't get out of there. They're probably better off dead, to be honest. <laughs> that must have been a traumatic experience. Just stuck down there for all eternity. I'm kind of a hero, in a way, <laughs> for freeing them. Ooh, what have we got here? Some nice blockies for my castle. <laughs> That's what I see. <laughs> see, this is why I die. I don't immediately think danger. I'm like, oh, nice blockies. <laughs> There's no way out of this for them. Okay, we gotta get in and out quick. Wait, down there? Is it? I'm confused. This is just a spawner, right? Like, I'm a little bit feckin' confused, to be honest. I, <laughs> I don't know what this is. What the shit? I thought it was just a spawner. What is this place? Okay, something bad here. <laughs> just my gut telling me, you know. Iron bars. Oh, that's what these are. I couldn't tell. Jesus Christ, my computer does not like when I pick them up. What the shit? Why do I keep picking them up? Stop. Oh my God, it's gonna be lag that kills me, isn't it? Okay, save and quit. <laughs> Let's relaunch this world. Something's gone wrong. Okay, well, I have x-ray vision now, which is pretty neat. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I should never have picked up those iron bars. What have I done? I really have a knack of fecking everything up for myself, don't I? Okay, situation resolved, I hope. I had to deactivate the RTX and the texture pack, go up, destroy those iron bars, pick them up, and then come back down. So we're not gonna touch iron bars anymore because apparently that breaks everything. Okay, now that we've got that over with, I can go back to being terrified about what I'm getting myself into because <laughs> I've really no idea what this place is. I do know I want these- Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh my God, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, silverfish, that's not what we want. I was gonna say, I know I want these blocks for my castle, but I don't think I do. Oh, they look so nice though. It would really look like an evil castle, which is kind of what I'm going for, you know? I might try and get some before I go. Right now, I'll just go back to being scared of the unknown. Can't wait to figure out what this actually is when you guys tell me in the comments. I'm like, is it kind of a dungeon thing? Is it is it a biome thing? Or is it the place where the end is? Because it does look kind of similar to that to me, but I might be completely wrong. Like, that seems a bit far-fetched, that it's like literally under my house. <laughs> but that's the only thing it reminds me of. But I'm not that well up on Minecraft, so I could be completely wrong. All I know is I'm lighting it up as well as I possibly can, so nothing will spawn in here. I seem to be getting lucky so far. There's not been much that attacked me other than like one zombie and that silverfish that scared the absolute shit out of me. I'm still hardcore though, right? <laughs> like no matter how I act, I'm still playing on hardcore, so th therefore I must be hardcore in general. Oh, what was that? Uh oh. Uh-oh. Luckily, I know a good way of dealing with them now, just constantly making them ricochet. There we go. Situation resolved. I definitely need more coal before I go too much further. There we go. That's what I need. I just dug out through the castle to try and get some. I just need more lights because I'm just spamming them everywhere in the hopes that things won't spawn around me. All right, now I got plenty more <laughs> to spam. As long as I can spam them everywhere, I'm happy. I feel like it can be a bit more misleading in this one too because I don't think the light emits quite as much in, as it does in normal 
Minecraft, so you think a place is dark when it's actually not that bad. <laughs> Jesus Christ, even that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> trying to make little symbols too. Every time there's three torches, I've explored every route that that door leads to. So that whole side is done, and that whole hall is done. So th this is making it easier to explore. I don't know if there's anything to actually find down here though. <sighs> Keeps feckin' trolling me with this shit, too. Ooh, okay, I haven't been here. That's a good sign. Like, some sort of reward for my efforts. Wait, what the hell was that? Oh, feck, there is a spawner here. Wait, this is the end! I didn't even take any notice of it! And then I looked and I was like, holy shit, there it is! Well, what the shit? It is literally under my house. I'm gonna block up that lava as cool as it looks. It's just too dangerous for me, I'm afraid. I don't know if they're gonna attack me or not. They seem friendly, but also they're trying to nip at my feet there, so... I don't know, I'm gonna kill you anyway. Well, would you fucking look at that? I have never seen anything like it. In my normal mode, I had to go so fucking far to find the end. It took me episodes to do it, actually. And it already has one filled in. Okay, I still need a lot to fill it in, but still, that's quite cool. All right, well, I'm gonna dig straight up and see where this leads out. Sorry, the wall growled at me. I got scared. Feck off, dude. I think they're still spawning here, but I don't know if they're useful, so I don't want to get rid of it. I got a lot more than I bargained for, and it was, like, a way better outcome. I still kind of wish I found a saddle instead, though. Because <laughs> this will help future Kevin a lot, but a saddle would have helped present Kevin a little. <laughs> and I'm a bit selfish like that. I just cannot believe that happened, though. <laughs> the thing is, stuff keeps happening in this game to me, and I feel like people are going to think I'm cheating. <laughs> like I somehow spawned in... Uh, a, a specific seed or something with the end underneath me. I don't know. But trust me when I say, if that is possible, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> and at least I think that's believable. Oh my god. <sighs> risky. <laughs> risky, risky business. <laughs> Gotta stop digging above me when there's so much gravel falling around the place. Let me get myself killed. Alright, I'm very interested where I'm... Are you kidding me? Is this in the village? I thought it was my house for a second and I was like, no way. No wonder this village is so cursed. Like, it's all over the place. They all seem to be dead and then I showed up. <laughs> it really couldn't get any worse, could it? Right, I'm gonna build a little tower to signify where the end is. There we go, that'll do. They're gonna be like, Jesus, that's ominous. Like, what does it mean? <laughs> is it a warning of some sort? I don't know. And my house is over there. That is feckin' insane. You know, when you're really far away to the point where you can hardly see my house, it looks all right. <laughs> all right, one more thing we need to do, I think, is build a well for this infinite water resource. So I'm gonna build a well here, I think. It looks a little bit silly when it's over here, just next to the farm. It's getting in my way a little bit. I don't know why I'm holding on to these extra pairs of pants. They're really no good to me, because, like, if I die, I'm gone. <laughs> but I don't know, just memories, okay? <laughs> you ever just pick up some souvenirs of pants if you go to another country or something? I'm trying to do kind of a more unique design, if I can, uh, with the limited space. I have too. I don't want to make it too big, but I'm not really sure what to do. Just something that looks a little bit different. All right, look, guys, I don't know what I'm building, okay? <laughs> I'm just kind of placing blocks. I is it okay? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I think it'll do. It's a nice little water supply regardless. It's functional, and that's what matters. That's how I cheer myself up when I make something utterly shite. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm kind of happy with it. I know it doesn't look the best, but it it's very homely in here. I think the lighting adds a lot to it. I definitely have to fix the top, although I'm not really sure how. But I think once I fix the top, it'll look a little bit better. And uh, I think the whole place is looking kind of nicer. Although a little bit dark. So I might just spread these for now while there's nothing taking up the space. I eventually want every space kind of used as an area. Like we'll have a little blacksmith area over there, that kind of thing. But uh, for now, we'll just leave some lights there so nothing will spawn. All right, well, the moon's coming out. So I guess that's enough for one day. I've really enjoyed this. I hope you did too. I, I have a very interesting world here, I feel like. I can't believe the end is literally over there. We can't see the sculpture. Oh, you can! You can see the entrance to the end from my house now. <laughs> you can see it lighting in the distance. That's amazing. So that that's pretty good. I mean, we have a pretty good chance of getting to the end and killing the Ender Dragon. Well, we have a good chance of getting to the end <laughs> in this hardcore Let's Play that we're doing, uh, which is pretty neat. That's pretty awesome. But uh, I'm gonna end it there. I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know if you did. And uh, I appreciate you watching, as always. I hope you're staying safe in these weird times. And I do hope to see you next time. Bye for now.